got toast in my tooth. Nice. Good morning. I'm really popping off in my vlogs, aren't I? They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Just in case you're wondering, this is the Lush cup of coffee mask. One of my absolute holy grails. Haven't done it in a while. Today is pretty uneventful. I've just done a workout and literally thought I was going to die. Um, so there's that. And I am going to be washing my hair today and I'm going to do the curly girl method if I've got enough curl jelly. Actually, let's check if I've got enough curl jelly because if I haven't, then I can't do it. And the reason for this is number one, yes, I, I want to have my curly hair today. It's been like upside down as well, so I, if I let it sit like that for a while, I think it'll be fine. If not, I'll buy some more today. My brother bought me this for Christmas. It's amazing. It's all fleece on the, mm, it's amazing. I had to answer the door to Amazon wearing this yesterday. It was a, it was a look. So basically, I don't know if you, exact person watching this <laughs> knows, but um, I have a few pictures on my Instagram and I used to post on my story of like my hair when it was curly and I said, I replied to a few of you, like it's the curly girl method and a lot of you were like, what the hell is that? So I thought what better way to let more of you know than to do a YouTube video. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you the products that I use and how I style it etc to get my curly hair now this doesn't work on everyone's hair i believe it's come from people that have like mad naturally curly hair and this is how they sort of look after it and style it and people like me that have like a slight wave in their natural hair have been using the product and doing bits <laughs> to see if we can get our hair to look curly and delicious so yeah i really don't want to be offending anybody by doing this video i just think it's cool and anyone can use products and style their hair so yeah all you voluminous curly girls out there i'm very jealous of you so yeah this is one of the products that i fear there's just not enough of for my life but i can mix it with a bit of water this is one of them. I'll show you the rest when I do it in a bit, but I'm about to have my second coffee of the day and yeah. <laughs> I look fucking ridiculous. So I've spent the entire, pretty much the entire morning listening to um, Justin Bieber's new song, Anyone. It's amazing. Why is he releasing like banger after banger recently? I mean, I wasn't a big fan of the collab with Shawn Mendes, but this is a great one. I'm having a Barocca. Why am I hold? Oh my God. Having a Barocca. Get my vitamins in. This is hard with one hand. Hold up. Grab the wall. I feel like you wanna make your ass fall off. Is that the right word? I'm so old. <laughs> it's the most satisfying thing to happen ever, ever. Ever, ever. What is wrong with me this morning? Okay. Ah. Mm. That's it, I'm not going. So I'm about to have a shower and wash my hair. And I mean, let's be honest, I'm just not one of them people that's gonna like film myself in the shower. Like when like girls wear a bikini and they film from like cute, like it's not happening. It's not happening. <laughs> First of all, I don't know where I would set my camera up because the wall is blank. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do for my hair. I use, basically I I found this works with any shampoo that I use, but apparently you're meant to use, um, technically you're meant to use like shampoos and conditioners that have like more natural ingredients. Um, this says natural, 98% natural origin ingredients. So I'm sure this is fine. This is the Garnier Ultimate Blends. Um, hair food, banana and coconut scent. Fucking love this. And I'm gonna use that. And then I'm gonna wash my hair again with the Bleach London Silver Shampoo because keeping that blonde looking blonde. And then I'm gonna put some leave-in conditioner. I also use the same Ultima Blends for my leave-in conditioner. And what I do is I put some of, the, some of this in, I'm quite generous with it. And then brush it through 
with my tangle teaser and that's that and when i get out of the shower my hair's gonna be soaking wet like literally don't don't touch it don't fucking put towel anywhere near it and i'll tell you what i do next but yeah i need to wash this off as well because like what's happening here Hello, I'm doing a voiceover because, well, basically, I just didn't talk in these clips. <laughs> this is the Cantu um, Define and Shine Hair Custard, I think it's called. And basically, I just put a lot of this on my hair. I keep going back to the pot, keep getting more out, and just kind of like breaking it through my hair. Um, <laughs> yes, it does look slightly questionable, <laughs> but I'm just going to just put this throughout my whole head of hair basically and then we're gonna scrunch it I put even more product on my hands and literally scrunch my hair like my life depended on it it is gonna be squelchy and gross sounding when you do this but literally scrunch and scrunch and scrunch until you can't scrunch no more when you're done with that we're going in with the curl jelly and you guessed it scrunching once more this does take like a good while but you just have to keep scrunching until your hair is not completely soaking wet anymore and until it's like how you want it basically next thing we're going to do is lay um, a t-shirt out like this and basically wrap my hair in it. and turn Olivia Neal off. So it's been a while, I've got dressed, done my makeup and my hair is starting to go really hard and let's be honest if this was, if my hair was longer and it was tighter curls it would be full ramen noodle life. But I can't be bothered to wait for it anymore, sometimes I'll just wait for it to completely dry but other times I... Sometimes I diffuse it, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Here's my hair dryer. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this is from Aldi and I've had it for, I wanna say about seven years, still going strong. And this absolutely, why is this so massive? Like there is no need for it to be like this, but this is from Amazon. Um, it just twists on and off onto, I guess, like most hair dryers. You'll see what I do, you just kind of scrunch up from the bottom. So this is on there and you go like this as you're drying it and I wait until it's completely dry and like all crispy and shit and then you'll see the most satisfying part at the end. It's my favourite. Did I break it? <laughs> Who in the hell put the muffins in the freezer? Woo! Damn boy. Also I do this like on a medium heat so that number one I don't burn my scalp off and number two it's just better. Okay, it's nearly 100% dry. I actually can't be bothered to wait anymore. Can you believe my hair does this with some product and a diffuser. So at the minute it still looks absolutely insane and I hate it parted in the middle. I kind of flip it when I'm done. But I'm gonna leave it cool just for a second. It's almost dry. And then basically what we're gonna do is scrunch it out so it's still a bit stiff and weird and ringlety from the um, curl jelly. So what I'm gonna do is scrunch all that out. Okay, here we go. Can you hear it? Hold on. Oh, 
crunchy. This vlog's all over the bloody shop, if I'm honest. So I'm just editing this and now it just carries on two days later and like it has, there's just no context. Um, but I've got nothing else to do with this footage and I show you like basically the finished here. So just go with it, do you know what I mean? A mirror has appeared. It's like two days later. I, I don't know, just like forgot. I just forgot I was filming. I don't bloody know. I'm getting back into the swing of these things. My under eyes are really bright. Um, so it's like two days later. I still haven't washed my hair since. Um, I always prefer this hair like days later. Like I will keep refreshing it every day. What I do to refresh it is basically I sleep with my hair like a high ponytail like a loose high ponytail and I just you know shower and whatever in the morning with it as it is and then while I'm doing my make just before I start doing makeup I get some of my curl jelly mix it with a bit of water and scrunch it until it goes all hard again um and then by the time I've finished my makeup my hair is, is like completely dry and completely hard and then I scrunch it all out and then it just refreshes it and makes it massive and I love it. But anyway, anyway, I'm like halfway, well, I just need to do my inner corner thing and my um, lipstick. I haven't completely finished my makeup, but it's lunchtime and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna eat. It's also such a beautiful day. Blue sky, motherfucker. <laughs> I put so much blusher on today, wow. Look, the Christmas tree's gone. My plant is back there. Um, I have my new mirror up there. I think I want to put my guitar on the wall up there and I have like some wall art up there and then on this side above the settee, like a floating shelf. What are we saying? What are we saying about that? Oh, oh, baller. <laughs> 20, it's 20 quid, literally 20 quid. Usually when I take my Christmas stuff down, it feels really big, but I actually really like it. Oh, and also I got this little, um, what do you call these? A wall hanging. Georgia got that for me for Christmas. And that's where it lives. It's real cute. I needed a piece so much this morning. I literally have had two coffees and a Barocca though. So like, I'm only one tiny person. Found this in Sainsbury's yesterday. Uh, Plant Pioneers firecracker pieces, chicken style. And um, they're like vegan chicken pieces. I'm not like completely vegan, but I do like to eat plant-based and like replace meat where I can. I'm just not a big meat fan. Like I never have been really. But yeah, these are, oh, delightful. And I'm gonna make a wrap. Oh shit. You had one too many, love. So it's a bit weird, but what I'm gonna do is have a wrap <laughs> with my firecracker chicken pieces, lettuce, and mango chutney. Now hear me out. I just dipped a bit of it, the chicken pieces in it last night and it was unreal. So instead of like a mayo today, we're going for mango chutney. Wait, renegade, renegade, renegade. It's not 2019 anymore, Bethan. Delicious, love. So I'm sat here eating my wrap and I'm definitely starting to get period pains. Not today, Satan. Ew. Mm. So I might have had a nap. I put fucking jeans on and everything because I was like fully intending to go for a walk today. It's not happening. It's not happening. I'm tired and I've got fucking period pains. What did I tell you? What did I fucking tell you? Yeah, they fucking are. So instead, I think I'm just going to order something on Amazon Prime that I probably can't afford and um, just lie down, you know? 